In the last episode, we ended up winning the Triple Crown event, going 3-2-2, two, and two, taking the overall. Going into race three, we we're sitting in the number one position, just in front of Pierce Brown and Cameron McAdoo. Title contender Jet Lawrence is having a rough season, only at number nine in the championship rankings. And in race three, we we're going to be headed to Daytona International Speedway to try to keep the momentum up. We went ahead and upgraded our cornering a little bit more, and then we upgraded our bike control and our braking if you're liking the content on this channel we're about to ramp up the videos i know i haven't posted in over a month but we're about to kick it off and we're gonna get some supercross 6 and mxgp on the on the channel and any other new games there'll be random games on this channel so if you do like the content drop a sub for me i greatly appreciate it let's head to daytona and try to get a win so I haven't figured out exactly what the best time to give the head start challenge. So we're just going to give it 30 seconds, but we do have some like signs and stuff that pop. Oh, somebody just went down over there. We do have some signs and stuff that are going to pop up in front of us. So I don't know if 15 seconds, 20 seconds, we'll go with 20 seconds in this heat race and see how it's looking. We're sitting all the way in the 20th position, but as you can see here, the tough blocks are already set up and sometimes it throws us off a little bit but we should have enough time man we've been cooking so far in this season so we'll see if we can keep that up today and see if we can go out here and catch these guys because we gotta qual to qualify as you know in supercross you gotta finish in the top nine and, and i'm just gonna completely just destroy that berm the bad thing too is i haven't played this game since the last video and that was over that was over a month ago so it's gonna take me a minute to get back into the hang of things but i don't think it'll take too long i'm not really worried about it we're sitting in number one in the championship rankings and also we're up like i think pierce brown has 39 points and we have 52 so we do have a pretty cushion or comfortable lead there but we're already making our way through the pack with about a minute and 30 seconds left not even a lap down yet and we've already made our way back into the top 15 hopefully we don't crash there and i'm just loving this gas gas i really haven't got to ride gas gas on these games or i've never really chose them i have here and there but as far as doing a full-blown career on gas gas I'm kind of liking it. I like that it's a new manufacturer in the uh, sport. And, you know, it was just introduced, what, a couple years ago with Justin Barsha in the 450s. And I'm pretty sure Pierce Brown was the first rider in the 250s. I may be wrong about that. But we're going to make our way into the top 10 now, sitting in number 9. And we almost take out our teammate, Pierce Brown. We're going to have to hit this outside berm to this triple and we got to get out of the way. We just got to pass these guys because they're getting all in our way and we don't want to drop the bike. We got 30 seconds before the time expires and we're down to two laps. We're going to try to pass Robinson. Oh, Robinson. We almost destroyed that berm there. We'll see if we can get around him. He's going to push us high around this berm. I keep cheesing this berm because... That's what everybody does online. So we're going to have to not do that because that's just. That's super cheese. It's just a bad habit from everybody doing it online. You you pretty much have to do it to keep up with people online. But we've made our way into the top four. And we are cooking right now. Best lap time, a minute and 15 seconds. We are coming up on Enzo Lopes. We're going to give him the business there make our way into the second position but colt nichols is cooking he is definitely been oh we're gonna go down and enzo lopes is gonna pass us we're gonna have to roll the finish line jump here and drop all the way back to fifth place i can't believe we just washed out right there and we ended up wrecking but we're gonna pass jordan smith and take back over third place so it doesn't look like we are going to take this heat race win. We still have a little bit of time, but I don't know if we have enough time to catch Enzo Lopes and Colt Nichols for a second time. We'll see what we can do. We're going to send it over this jump and we clear it. That was huge. 
That's going to be a lot of time we save there. Try to hit the triple here and not drop the bike. We got to get around Enzo Lopes. He is just bad vibes for us. And here we go. Colt Nichols messed up on that triple. So this is going to give us a chance. We're going to give him that business and push him over the berm to take over first place here in heat race. Number one. I'm not going to cheese the berm. I'm going to go around the outside again. We're going to hit the tabletop or the tunnel jump, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to pass the finish line and take the win in the heat race at Daytona. As you can see, guys, this is for anyone that doesn't know, this is why I'm doing the head start challenge. We ran a 115 and Colt Nichols ran a 119. And most of these riders are running 120s or below. And this is on the max difficulty. So they really didn't make this game challenging at all. I mean, for some newer players, yeah, it might be a little challenging for people that, you know, wreck a lot or drop the bike a lot. But other than that, for someone that's been playing this game over and over each year, this game, this is why I do the Head Start Challenge. We are actually going to pick the worst possible gate, even though we're not going to go on the gate drop. We're going to wait here until four minutes and 30 seconds. Give these riders a whole 30 seconds to get out in front of us. And hopefully we can make our way through the pack and find our way in the number one position, but we'll have to see. Here we go. We're coming down to the four minute and 30 second mark, and we're going to go ahead and send it off of the gate. Try to not wreck here on the tough blocks. And now we are 30, at least 30 seconds behind first placeman with only four minutes here to go in this main event at Daytona. We'll see what we can do. We didn't have too many problems doing it in the heat race but we only did it you know 15 seconds but we only had three minutes i'm pretty sure or two and a half two and a half minutes to catch them but we ended up doing that pretty easily dropping the bike once but we'll see what we can do now we're going to try to send it over this jump that jump is so sketchy if you don't clear it you're pretty much going to wreck or you're going to be coming close to wrecking so we'll see what we can do we're going to try to battle our way get some heat laps down see if we can find our way to the pack and then we just start hunting pretty much that's the way i look at it we start hunting our riders our victims and we take them out one at a time two at a time whatever we gotta do to get the win here at daytona and keep the points lead and we're all the way back here with colt nichols and he is just gonna try to take our line away and he's gonna end up going down i don't know why he was trying to ride us so aggressive there we didn't really do anything to Colt Nichols, but he was trying to take our line away. We're going to get around Owen here. Hit the triple. Try to make our way. We only have two laps to go. We know we have the speed, but we got to stay on the bike and not jump the berms. We are back in front of Pierce Brown. Now Jet Lawrence is in front of us. He is our next target. Can we catch Jet Lawrence before the end of this race? We're going to send it over the tunnel jump again, man. I got to quit doing that because that's how we washed out. And we lose so much time there. Now on the final lap, we are in fifth place. And he may get the win here. If we can get over this jump, we just passed two riders in that section. Holy moly, boys. We're going to jump up into number two and we have a chance now to pass Enzo Lobes. No, we're going to go off the track just a little bit. Get back on the track. We're not going to clear that triple, but Enzo is having some problems. He's going to over jump the turn and we're going to get back into first place here in the main event at Daytona. All we got to do is finish these last two turns out strong. Hit the tunnel jump. We're going to send it. We did it all race. Why not? Why not? Here comes Enzo Lopes. I'm pretty sure we're still going to get it and we're going to take the win here at Daytona. So that race, we actually ended up stepping up our game and running a 113. But Enzo Lopes, the, the lap leader, the guy that was leading most of the race, ran a 120. That's how big of the skill gap difference is. So after that race, our contract has expired. So we're going to take a look at our contract offers. We're going to we can request a contract or we can renew our last contract with Gas Gas. So it looks like Rockstar Energy is actually gonna offer us a contract and Team Honda HRC is gonna offer us a contract 
and KTM Red Bull is also going to offer us a factory contract. Now, as you guys know, we can also go in here and ask for a contract from any other team that we want to be with. That's definitely an option. I mean, you can ask for basically every single team they have on the game you can choose from. So for the next half of the season, we're going to be riding with... All right, boys, we are out here in Detroit. We are on our new bike, our Honda 250. We'll see what we can do. We're going to give this group 15 seconds to get out in front of us, and we'll see what we can do. 15 to 20, probably 20 seconds. We have now hit the 2 minute and 40 second mark. Let's see where we got to go here. That's what's hard about doing these head start challenges. I don't know exactly after the signs and everything come up where we get on the track at but we're gonna get on the track here in detroit we are actually struggling struggling pretty heavily to start this race but i think we have time like i said oh my goodness we got to get back on the track but we do have some cushion in the points lead so after winning you know three races in a row this being our fourth race of the season I don't think we're really going to have any pressure on us to win this 250 championship. And I, oh my goodness, RJ Hampshire having a bounce back race here in Detroit. He is sitting in first place and Enzo Lopes is having a breakout season, man. He's been in the top three a lot this season. He's been in the top, you know, top five, top 10. He's always up here, but mainly he's been in the top three and I see him being, you know, in the top three in points when this season comes down to the end of it and we are actually struggling to catch the top three riders here because they were spread out pretty far compared to the fourth placement so i don't know if we'll have time to catch the top three riders here in detroit this might be a track that we actually struggle with the head start challenge i'm not sure because we're catching them now but we weren't for a minute so we got Jace Owen up here. We got Enzo Lopes. We got the good thing about this is this. Well, this is the final lap. So hopefully we can sneak a podium around Jace Owen at least. And he's going to struggle on that jump. So we're going to hit him on the inside berm. Try to push him over the berm. It doesn't work out. We get into each other. Almost wrecked there. That would have been not very good. And we're going to get past Enzo. I don't know what he was doing. He made a mistake or something because he came up short there. And now we're going to get second place in this heat race at Detroit. And we are coming down to that 30 second mark here. And we'll see what we can do. Four minutes and 30 seconds left in this main event. Can we go out here and run these riders down? Please don't reset us. That would be some absolute cheese considering we just gave everybody a head start in this main event. But we'll see what we can do. We're going to try to go out here, put like, that's the goal, man. Just come out here. And when we're in the back of the pack, especially just put down some heater laps. We are completely out of rhythm right now, though. So that is, that is not working out in our favor. But we're definitely going to run some heaters and catch these guys and maybe get another win. I mean, I didn't think we were going to do it in that heat race, but somehow we came and finished in second place. We just got to keep the bike on two wheels and we got to keep trucking, not make any mistakes. And we'll catch the pack and then work on every rider one at a time. Try to take over in many as many positions as we can. Probably not going to finish in the top 10, to be quite honest with you. We haven't even made our way into the top 15 because we just made that stupid mistake. And we got to get around Jet Lawrence and Cartwright. Oh, here we go again. Going off the track. I'm just struggling to get through the pack on this track. I, I don't know what is going on. It seems like this Jet Lawrence and Josh Cartwright is just... Look at him, bro. He just turned straight into me. I don't know what he's doing, dude. He's fighting like a, he's going for the win back here in 19th place. Oh, we really needed to get that triple. We'll see if we can bounce back into rhythm here. We're going to pass Levi Kitchen. Two laps to go. We got to get something done here. We are sitting in 13th place, so we at least need to get a top 10 to get any sort of decent points. 
I don't know if we'll be able to do it if we can get past Robertson. Triple. Triple trying to work our way to Jordan Smith now for the top 10 position. And I, we'll just have to take top 10. We still have another lap to go, but it seems like the the next pack of riders is kind of spread out quite a bit. And I didn't even check after that heat race, like what the difference was between our lap times and the AI. So I'm sure there is a huge difference because we are making some time on these riders, but I don't know if it's a big enough difference to win the race because final lap here, we're in ninth place. RJ Hampshire goes down. We're going to make our way to eighth. We got to have a big section here. And it looks like we're going to. We're going to catch up with the top six riders. Enzo Lopes back here in sixth place. Can we get around Enzo and Cameron McAdoo? They are pretty close and are they the closest in points to us? Got to have a big section here. This is right before the finish line. Can we get the triple triple? triple we do can we get around pierce brown i don't know if we got him we did we got second place oh my goodness i don't know how we fought our way back to second place 48 seconds compared to austin fortner the first placement's 55 that is absolutely insane but we got the job done and we're still going to be sitting in number one in points in the next episode, we'll be racing Indianapolis, the Lucas Oil Stadium. So if you guys like this series, like I said at the beginning of the video, just drop a like for me, subscribe. It's free, boys. It helps me out. And we're trying to get this second channel going here. So if you like MX, you like Supercross, this is where you want to go to see that content. I'll see you fellas in the next one. Peace, guys.